Alright, welcome back you nerdy Star Wars collectors. This is uh, the Durley once again with Durley's Darth Vader Toy Reviews presented by Unchained with the Captain. We're here once again in my Darth Vader Museum and today we're going to be talking about the Rockcliffe Pewters, Darth Vader, and Anakin Skywalker. This is going to be great. <laughs> Again, uh, today we're going to talk about a couple of my favorite figures, and this is the Rockcliffe Pewters uh, Darth Vader and Anakin Skywalker. Darth Vader was, was released in '94, and Anakin was uh, '97. These are really great figures. Uh, we'll have some stills up for you, but they're really nice sculpts. They're really heavy duty. They're uh, they're the uh, was it uh, 45 millimeter pewters, uh, so they're they're nice and big, about two inches tall. Uh, they have a base uh, on them, says Star Wars on the front with the classic font. It's got the artist on the side, and then it has the name on the back, you know, Darth Vader. This is really nice. He's, he's standing there, he's holding his lightsaber, uh, and even the lightsaber is like a really nice sculpt. It's a little bit a little bit bendy, but anybody that has pewter, that has anything thin on it, you know how that stuff gets. Uh, I got this at uh, Gen Con, actually, uh, around 2003 uh, for, I think, $27.50. Which is a really great price. It's a really great figure. And I, I keep seeing it for around that price online on eBay. I, I keep referencing eBay, but I use it a lot. I know a lot of people have had problems with it, but, you know, problems happen. I've had problems too. I've always had my money refunded, so I don't care. But, uh, you know, this is, a, this is a great figure right here. Nice and solid. Really good base. Displays really, really well. I like small, like, statuette, uh, maquette type figures uh, with my Vader collection. Now, another one that I got just recently, I got this about a year ago, was Anakin Skywalker. Now, it's not the Hayden Christensen Anakin Skywalker, this is the Sebastian Shaw Anakin Skywalker. So, Star Wars fans, real fans, yeah, this is the guy right here. And it's awesome, you know, he's wearing the Jedi robes, he's looking very calm and happy, kind of like he was uh, when he showed his spirit at the end of Jedi. And down here he's got the Vader helmet, right there on the base. And once again, it says Star Wars across the front. It's got uh, Garrity, the uh, the artist, and it's got his name, Anakin Skywalker, on the back. I actually picked this up for uh, eight bucks with shipping uh, from uh, eBay, so I got this for very inexpensive for the two of them. Uh, if you're a collector and you like this kind of thing, I wouldn't expect to pay for the both of them together more than forty dollars. I wouldn't uh, certainly if I didn't have them. If you can get this one for twenty bucks, twenty five bucks, I think you're getting a deal. If you're paying more than thirty. Uh, maybe maybe just wait and uh, find it somewhere else. This one, you could probably find it for five bucks uh, online. Maybe ten bucks. I wouldn't feel bad paying ten dollars for this, especially considering I have this one, and it's nice to have the both of them. I really don't collect any of the Hayden Christensen Anakin Skywalker stuff, and the Sebastian Shaw stuff is very very rare. So, uh, there's uh, not necessarily rare, but there's not a lot of it out there. So it's really nice to have a piece like this just to match up. Uh, really great figs. They display really nice. Like I said, you can put them in a shadow box. They look good on a shelf in front of some of your larger figs to add a little bit of dimension and depth to your displays. Uh, definitely something worth looking at. And Rockcliffe Miniatures put out a whole line of Star Wars stuff. They put out some really great figures. They put out things like uh, Boba Fett, which looks awesome, and they even put out a Slave One that's got moving guns. So you know how Slave One it moves, uh, you know, from horizontal to vertical depending on how it's flying the guns move on and everything, they've put out some really incredible uh, Star Wars figs. So if you're into pewter and into Star Wars, Rockcliffe is uh, somebody that maybe you want to check out and uh, look for a few of those things. Until the next time that we have some toy reviews for you, I'm Durley. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe my channel, which is The Durley. I put out a cooking show uh, pretty regularly, some really good stuff on there. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to uh, Captain Morgan with Unchained with the Captain. He's the guy that's putting these videos out for us. Uh, look for our other videos. We do a lot of video uh, reviews. We do trailer reviews, movie reviews. We also do questions about Star Wars, and we're going to be doing some new segments about trivia questions with other movies, filling in plot holes that might exist. Uh, and until next time, may the Force be with you. Always.